back to last season. Questions, guys? Coach, what did you learn from your team on Saturday? Oh, I learned that we're learning. You know, um, said we had uh, we had two preseason scrimmages, and each one we learned some valuable lessons. So, yeah, I thought we we became more dangerous in our attack and uh, just a little bit tighter defensively. So it was it was it was good to see. And the op- opponents keep getting better. Talk about uh, the next opponent here. How how good are they, and and how good are you going to have to be? New Mexico is very good, very good. I think they're super athletic team. You know, um, good experience, well coached. Um, so, you know, it's going to be a real physical battle for us, but one that we're going to have to we're going to have to play our best really um, to to put these guys on their heels. Hey, coach. Uh, I mean, this is a pretty big home stand, uh, just because you know it's obviously the beginning of the year, setting the tone. I mean, these five games. How important are they in terms of building that resume? At, you know, super important. Year? You know, I mean, this is another West West Conference team. You know, um, you know that bid could come down to to Cal Poly or New Mexico, like it did, you know, a few years ago. So these are head to head games that are, are are very very valuable, and our guys are old enough now, are more ex- experienced to know that each game is an NCAA playoff, um, meaningful team, meaningful game. So um, they know that. And uh, we just have to approach it the right way. You know, just looking at the schedule, are, are there fewer road games this year than in some of the years you've, you've been here? Yeah, we have. Um, we have look, a, yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, we, we have 11, 11 home games, seven road games. Uh-huh. Usually it's about 50 50, you know, and eight and eight, nine and nine. So, you no, know, we have a couple more extra home games. We have to take advantage of that. You know, we have to, we have to take care of our home. And, um, and you know, that's what we, we hope to do. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, since you've been here, well, I forget how many years now. Is it six, something like that? Mm-hmm. Six years. I mean, obviously the team's been really well at home with, with you here. Um, so, I, again, if the importance of defending Spanos, I mean, is, is pretty important this year, especially since you only have seven road games. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and, you know, I feel like, um, I feel like our crowds are just a, a big part of that. You know, the support that we get, the people here are just fantastic, and their support we hope to have a – you know, some big crowds this weekend, Friday and Sunday, because these are these are huge games. And uh, we, we we've heard before the season that the defense is going to be a you know maybe the calling card this year. And, and Chris said that you've had what allowed five shots in, in the two games, the last two games. Um, so talk about the the defense. I mean, I know that the Cal game was was a tough one, uh, but the, it looks like the defense is really yeah. kind of growing after that game. It was funny because I I. I Said that in an interview a couple of days before the Gal- Cal game that our, our defense was very strong and then we got scored on five times. Yeah. Um, but you know that was with a couple of days of training, only two days of training, and we were we've gotten we've gotten more organized and, and focused on on the roles of each player um, and and what we expect of them. And um, you know you know we want our defenders to defend. You know we want our defenders to. You know, we don't need them necessarily to score goals or to pour into the attack all the time. Um, but we want them to focus on keeping us balanced, keeping us organized, and, and um, being leaders in the back. And that's what they've done the last two games. And, you know, the results are that uh, we're giving up fewer shots. You know, and that's, that's all we're going to ask.